folks, you can't spell total eclipse without Cal. What a bombshell. Multiple national outlets reporting John Calvary is leaving Kentucky for Arkansas. Now, neither school has confirmed the move, but Eric Crawford, Rick Bozich, how do we even begin to unpack this one? Well, you know, I would say that it, it was shock, but not surprise. I think we knew that this was coming at some point, uh, whether it be this year, next year, at some point, you could see it going. The, the relationship between Calipari and Kentucky fans and Mitch Barnhart, it was unraveling. It tends to happen when you lose in the first round and are bounced. This was going to happen, but it's still shocking to see it happen. Yeah, I agree. Usually uh, Rick Pitino left Kentucky to go up to the Boston Celtics. This is more reminiscent of when Tubby Smith left to step down to Minnesota. He's going to Arkansas, a very fine program, but it's not Kentucky. I thought Cal Perry would stay with five years left on his contract and fight and get Kentucky back to what it used to be. Now, we don't want to let recency bias impact this too much because the first six seasons for John Cal Perry at Kentucky that met the gold standard, but the last nine years certainly haven't. So my question to you two is how do you try to remember or define Calipari's legacy at UK? Well, it's either, you know, the young Elvis or the older Elvis. Which one do you like? <laughs> That's where we Who are. I mean, which, which one? I mean, is it the young Calipari that won national championships? Is it the older one that's sitting there watching threes get rained down yeah. on him uh, by Oakland? It's, it is a tough question, but he did accomplish a lot here. And I think by leaving, he at least avoids doing further damage. Yeah, I mean, what he did the first six years was phenomenal. It all flipped on that night in 2015 when the 38-0 team lost to Wisconsin. From that point forward, it went downhill. But I also think what people need to remember about Cal when it gets overlooked is he was a great ambassador for UK basketball, and he was a great citizen of the state of Kentucky. He did fundraisers yes. for the Haiti earthquake. He did it for the flooding uh, out in eastern Kentucky. He did it for the tornadoes in Mayfield. Yep. He was a great ambassador for the state of Kentucky. He really was. Now, moving forward for Kentucky, where do you start to try to think about a replacement? Because this is one of the biggest jobs in the country, but I think it's different than it's ever been to try to look for a coach for Kentucky in the NIL and transfer portal era. My sense is that Mitch Barnhart has always, uh, for a long time, had his eye on Scott Drew. I think they're friends. They have a relationship. He's at Baylor. Whether he would come to Kentucky or not, I don't know. If he's not the guy, I would like to see them go after Nate Oates of Alabama. Uh, he seems to be a guy who has a very strong self-confidence and presence about himself, and he coaches a very entertaining style of basketball. Yeah, I think Nate Oates is young enough. He's 49 years old. He's big into analytics. He's shown ability to recruit in the portal, but to get great freshmen. You give him the resources at Kentucky, he could really take it and run with it. He's what I would call the the long-term hire that could be a long-term coach here. But there are a lot of others. There's the fun hire. You could go to Bruce Pearl. There's the <laughs> hold my beer hire and go talk to Rick Pitino. There's all kinds of, of names that we're going to hear. Billy Donovan, Jay Wright, the best dressed hire. Yep, there just, you go. Just take your pick. What do you, what, what do you want? Danny Hurley. Uh, I, just, I'm just going to say, if we're holding beers, hire. I don't know how many we've had to hold over the past month yeah. with all yeah. the different coaching carousel news, but what a wild time in college basketball in a state that loves it more than anywhere else. But we'll be here for you every step of the way. He's Rick Bozich. He's Eric Crawford. I'm Tyler Grieber for WDRB Sports. Never a dull moment. Thank you, guys. And I will